Okay, here I'm going to do a proof of the product rule from calculus. And recall the product rule says that the derivative with respect to x of the product of two functions, f of x times g of x, that's going to be f of x times g prime of x plus f prime of x times g of x. And again, you can obviously flip the order on these due to the addition sign. So let's prove this, uh, this result. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let capital F of x equal a product, little f of x times little g of x, and we're just going to use the definition of a derivative. So f prime of x, that's what we want to figure out. Well, according to the definition, that'll be the limit as h approaches 0 of capital F of x plus h minus capital F of x all divided by h. But now I'm going to replace my capital F, uh, my capital F functions with little f and little g. So it says we can rewrite this as the limit as h approaches 0. Instead of capital F of x plus h, we would have, well, little f of x plus h times g of x plus h. And then it says subtract away the original function, capital F of x, which will be little f times little g, all over h. Okay, so I'm going to stop saying capital F and uh, little f. From now on out, if I talk about f, it's going to be uh, lowercase. So what we're going to do in this case, uh, what we're going to do now to make, uh, make use out of this is we're going to... We're going to subtract. We're going to subtract and add the term f of x plus h times g of x to the numerator. Okay, so that's going to make everything work out here, as you'll see. So we've got the limit as h approaches zero. So we've got f of x plus h times g of x plus h. Well, now what I'm going to do is subtract away f of x plus h times g of x, and then I'm going to also add f of x plus h times g of x. So there's the, uh, the subtraction and the addition. And then we still have minus f of x times g of x. all divided by h. So this is going to be the trick to make everything, uh, make everything work out for us here. Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up into a couple terms. I'm going to take the limit as h approaches 0. I'm going to look at the first two terms in the numerator. f of x plus h times g of x plus h minus f of x plus h times g of x, so again, just the first two terms, all over h, plus we would have the limit as h approaches 0 still, and just the last two terms. So we've got f of x plus h times g of x minus f of x times g of x, all over h. So now we're almost there. What I'm going to do next is from the, uh, our first limit, I'm just going to factor out the f of x plus h. So in the numerator, we would be left with g of x plus h minus g of x. That's all over h. And then plus on our second limit, I'm going to factor out from the numerator g of x. Let's bring that over here. So I'm going to factor out g of x. So we have the limit as h approaches 0. I'm going to factor out g of x. And then left over, we would have f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And now we are, we're almost there. So if we look at the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h, if we substitute in h equals 0, we'll just be left with f of x. We've got the limit as h approaches 0, again, of g of x plus h minus g of x, all over h. If we look at the limit as h approaches 0 of g of x, g of x is just a constant uh, with respect to this limit as h approaches 0. 
So we're simply left with g of x. We still have to take the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. But now the point is, if we look at the limit as h approaches 0 of g of x plus h minus g of x over h, that's just the definition of g prime of x, right? If we use the limit definition, we would get exactly uh, that factor involving the limit. Plus, well, now we've got g of x left over. And again, if we look at the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h, that's exactly the definition of f prime of x. So now, uh, proof complete. It said... Uh, we wanted to find the derivative of little f times little g, and it says after we went through the motions, we got exactly uh, what the product rule says we should get.